Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this. <clears throat> the Behringer Edge. It is an analog semi modular percussion synthesizer with two oscillators, multi mode filter, dual eight step sequencer, and 16 voice poly chain. Very nice. It's actually pretty heavy, actually. Let's have a look. We've got DC input, that's your power, uh, on and off switch, uh, USB to connect to your PC for you can do updates and whatnot. And here you've got your dip switches so you can select your MIDI channel. There's some little graphics here to select MIDI channels 1 to 16. It tells you which combination of dip switches you need. So that's quite useful. Right then, what have we here? Well, <clears throat> we've got MIDI in and MIDI out and MIDI through, so you connect it to external gear or to a mixer, whatever you want. We have some outputs and inputs. Um, I'll cover those in a different video. I'm not going to go through those today. We've got your main oscillators, two oscillators. We've got VCO, so this controls the, what was it? Let me consult my little user guide here. Um, mm, 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 modulates the pitch of both oscillators. That's nice. So increasing clockwise uh, increases the amount of modulation added, apparently. We've got some noise, uh, white noise and pink noise. That's Pink noise is uh, deeper sounds apparently, which is nice. You can uh, add some depth. You can control the amount of noise with this knob. Uh, you got your output, so you got your overall main decay, uh, master volume, uh, VCA mode, fast and slow. Um, what have we here? Filter. So you got high pass, low pass, cut off. Resonance Decay, Envelope, Noise, VCF Mod, so that's, you know, that's a bit of noise to that. Your Tempo, <laughs> this is a bit nuts, it goes up to 10,000 BPM, that's pretty insane. You've got your clock, um, so you can have USB to MIDI, select your scale, whatever you want there. Um, USB, where are we, extent. You've got your sequencer, sorry, this is your main sequencer, I should say. So you've got eight steps in your sequencer. You can control the pitch and velocity of each one. You've got buttons down here, uh, start, stop, sequence. You can advance a step in the sequence and tweak. Uh, you can actually trigger the sound as well if you want, as you're doing that, which is also quite handy. Um, so let's just cover... Uh, a few of these little bits and bobs here. So we can control the overall frequency of the, the oscillators. We can change the shape from square wave to triangle. The sequencer pitch mod. What does that do? Let's have a look. Sequencer pitch mod, where are you? Number four, where are we? This three-way switch selects if the pitch sequencer is sent to oscillator one and two, to oscillator two, or only off. So I'll demo all this later on. I'll do a demo video and I'll just sort of play and mess about and you can listen to what it sounds like. Obviously you've heard the initial intro uh, to get a taste of what it sounds like, but uh, I'll go a bit more in depth shortly. Cheers. A little Brucey bonus for you. We're in the box, you actually get six patch cables. I forgot to mention that. 